वेलकम आई एम योर होस्ट अदिति सिंह एंड यू आर वॉचिंग माई इंडिया Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi's recent visits to Brunei and Singapore highlight a significant expansion of India's strategic outreach in Southeast Asia. In Brunei, agreements on fintech, cyber security, and LNG supplies were secured along with the launch of a new direct flight to Chennai. In Singapore, cooperation was enhanced in semiconductors, digital technologies, and healthcare. These trips underscore India's commitment to its Act East policy and Indo-Pacific vision, fostering stronger partnerships for mutual growth and innovation. India aims to become a global semiconductor hub by increasing domestic production and attracting foreign investment. This strategic initiative is part of the country's broader efforts to enhance its technological and economic infrastructure. During Prime Minister Narendra Modi's recent visit to Singapore, at the invitation of Prime Minister Lawrence Wong, agreements were signed to advance cooperation in semiconductors, digital technologies, healthcare, and skill development. The two leaders witnessed the exchange of a memorandum of understanding on the India-Singapore Semiconductor Ecosystem Partnership. across this entire spectrum of the semiconductor ecosystem we find uh, great convergences uh, with with singapore and uh, i think you will see a very rapid growth in our um, uh, joint efforts in this direction prime minister modi also engaged with a group of prominent singaporean ceos from various sectors such as investment funds infrastructure manufacturing energy sustainability and logistics Singapore is India's sixth largest trading partner with a 3.2 share of India's overall trade In the financial year 2024 imports from Singapore amounted to 21.2 billion while exports totaled 14.4 billion Business tycoons lauded India's leadership for its effective governance and progressive policies It's it's a very exciting you know to uh, meet with uh, uh, Prime Minister Modi in person. His leadership is exceptional, you know. For the past uh, this is his third term, right? For the past two term you can see that India has become one of the the major uh, player globally, the fifth largest uh, the uh, the economies in the world. Before visiting Singapore, Prime Minister Narendra Modi traveled to Brunei. demonstrating India's commitment to strengthening ties with Southeast Asia. These visits underscored India's Act East policy and its Indo-Pacific vision. Bharat ki Act East policy aur Indo-Pacific vision mein Brunei ka mahatvapurna saajedar raha hai. Bharat hamesha ASEAN centrality ko prathmikta deta aaya hai. और आगे भी देता रहेगा हम अनक्लोज जैसे अंतर्राष्ट्रीय कानूनों के तहत फ्रीडम ऑफ नेविगेशन और ओवर फ्लाइट का समर्थन करते हैं हम सहमत हैं कि इस क्षेत्र में कोड ऑफ कंडक्ट पर सहमति बने हम विस्तारवाद नहीं विकासवाद की नीति का समर्थन करते हैं Prime Minister Modi and Sultan Hassan Al Bolkiah agreed to elevate their four-decade-old diplomatic ties to a more advanced partnership, focusing on fintech, cybersecurity, and expanding space cooperation, including satellite development and long-term LNG supplies. They signed an MOU for collaboration on telemetry, tracking, and telecommand stations for satellites and launch vehicles. The visit also marked the inauguration of a new direct flight route between Brunei's capital Bandar Seri Begawan and Chennai, India. Prime Minister Modi's engagements underscore India's commitment to enhancing its role in the Indo-Pacific and fostering stronger ties with key partners across diverse sectors for mutual growth and innovation. India's 
tourism sector enriched by its diverse landscapes, historic landmarks and vibrant traditions is a major global attraction. From the majestic Himalayas to the serene backwaters of Kerala, the country draws millions of visitors annually. Government initiatives like Swadesh Darshan scheme along with improvements in health amenities and infrastructure have significantly bolstered the sector. Let's explore the growth and impact of India's booming tourism industry. India's tourism heritage is flourishing, offering a blend of spirituality, cultural diversity and adventure. From the sacred Ganga Arti in Varanasi to the pristine beaches of Arisha and Goa and the scenic landscapes of Kashmir, the country is becoming a top destination for travelers. The rich variety of regional delicacies and street foods, along with enriching and exhilarating tourist adventure activities, adds to its allure. To position India as a leading global tourist destination, industry professionals gathered at the Travel and Tourism Fair BLTM 2024 in New Delhi. The event saw participation from Indian states, travel companies and international representatives exploring tourism business opportunities. All uh, the destinations who are competing with us, they are talking about responsible and sustainable tourism. We are one step ahead and we are seeing regenerative tourism. It is all about leaving a destination better off than it was uh, before and having a positive impact on the community. The government's focus on infrastructure, new airports, expanded rail, road and waterways, and developing religious circuits and hidden gems has also enhanced India's travel and tourism sector. The industry has also embraced new technology, making trip planning and booking easier. With a variety of mobile apps, online platforms and travel websites, travelers benefit from greater convenience and exciting new experiences. So online booking platform has, you know, of course, given us so much of access to information, ease of booking, ease of payments. So I think online booking platforms has, right, you know, enlarged the tourism economy, tourism industry. And of course, technology is always an enabler. Today, the, uh, mill the millennials and the youngsters today are uh, wanting to book everything on their smartphone using digital payments. So definitely, it's a boon to the industry. According to KPMG, tourism in India contributes 6.5% to GDP, approximately 23.2 billion, and supports 43 million jobs. In 2023, domestic tourist visits reached 2.51 billion, while foreign tourist arrivals totaled 9.2 million in the country. India's tourism sector is advancing rapidly driven by government initiatives to improve infrastructure. The country offers a variety of locations where visitors can experience lush green forests, waterfalls and more. The Dang region in western Gujarat is emerging as a hub for ecotourism. As the monsoon paints the landscape in vibrant hues, the picturesque Dong district of Gujarat transforms into a paradise for nature lovers. Waterfalls come alive and lush greenery blankets the landscape. The serene hill station of Saputara, with its sunset point and tranquil lake, is a favorite among tourists. It offers activities like boating, trekking and camping. Dong's Wagai Botanical Garden, featuring diverse flora, is perfect for leisurely strolls. The region also boasts a rich cultural heritage with its tribal communities, adding to its charm. Visitors to the Giradod waterfall during the monsoon have been awestruck by its powerful cascade. आप मेरे और मेरे परिवार के चेहरे से बता सकते हैं कि कैसा लग रहा है फिर भी मैं बताना चाहूंगा कि 
ज़्यादा नहीं तो सिर्फ एक बार तो यहाँ पे आना ही चाहिए और अगर आपके पास टाइम है तो दो बार आइए तीन बार आइए जब भी आपका मन करे अगर आपको प्रकृति के साथ थोड़ा समय बिताना है तो ज़रूर आइए हम सब नेचर लवर्स हैं हम हमको सबको नेचर नेचर प्लेस में जाने का बहुत बढ़िया शौक रहता है वैसे शासन भी पूरा नेचुरल ही है लेकिन यहाँ की ब्यूटी उससे कहीं ज़्यादा है क्योंकि ये हिल स्टेशन है वन ऑफ दी और सेकंड रीज़न यहाँ पे है यहाँ की जो हाइट की वजह से जो इसको एलिवेशन मिलता है इस पर जो ठंडी हवाएं का जो फील होता है एक्सपीरियंस होता है वो एकदम बढ़िया रहता है तो यहाँ साफ सुथरा आके रिफ्रेशमेंट ज़्यादा मिलता है No visit to Dong is complete without experiencing the craftsmanship of local artisans. Bamboo products, intricately woven by skilled hands, reflect the region's rich cultural heritage. Tourism supports local tribal communities who engage in organic farming and craft bamboo products, which are abundant in Dong. वो बाम्बू की चीज़ ही बहुत डिमांड करते हैं सब बाम्बू की उस चीज़ ही लेने को आते हैं सब लकड़े की वस्तु बाम्बू की सब है वो ही सब पसंद करते हैं वो लोग यही सब काम धंधा सब ये बाम्बू लाते हैं यही सब बना बना के काम धंधा वो सब घर पे बना बना के सब बेचते हैं यही रोजगार उसके चल रहे हैं Ecotourism in India is thriving, fueled by a growing focus on environmental conservation and sustainable travel. Initiatives in regions like the Western Ghats and the Himalayas promote sustainability and support local communities, preserving natural beauty and enriching experiences. This trend advances environmental stewardship and provides economic benefits, making ecotourism a vital and expanding sector. visit the dargah of Sheikh Mohibullah Shah also known as Dada Mia in Prayagraj city of Uttar Pradesh This shrine is a testament to the centuries old Ganga Jamuni Tehzeeb symbolizing Hindu Muslim unity and shared cultural heritage A living monument to inclusivity and tolerance the dargah attracts people from all faiths reinforcing the powerful message of communal harmony Within Prayagraj's sacred landscape, the Darga of Sheikh Mohibullah Shah shines as a profound testament to communal unity and the revered Ganga Jamuni Tehzeeb. In Prayagraj's sacred realm, the Darga of Sheikh Mohibullah Shah stands as a profound symbol of communal unity and the esteemed Ganga Jamuni Tehzeeb. Like the converging rivers Ganga and Yamuna, this site brings together people of various faiths creating an atmosphere of inclusivity and shared reverence Sheikh Mohibullah Shah who lived in the 16th century championed love peace and spiritual unity His teachings continue to inspire people from diverse backgrounds fostering enduring communal harmony despite centuries of change Khan ki ab misal jitna kare utna kam hai रोते हुए लोग आते हैं हंसते हुए जाते हैं और हर कौम के लोग आते हैं यहाँ पे हिंदू मुस्लिम सिख ईसाई सब आते हैं Each year during the Urs festival the dargah transforms into a lively hub of interfaith interaction celebrating the saint's death anniversary the event is marked with enthusiasm and devotion from people of all religions Hindus Muslims Sikhs and others come together to offer prayers seek blessings and share communal meals Hazrat Sheikh Mohibullah Shah urf Dada Mia inko Allahabad mein Dada Mia ke naam se mashhoor inka kitab Dada Mia to hai Hazrat Sheikh Mohibullah Shah ye Allah ke wali hain aur ye Allahabad ki shaan hain यहाँ पर ये नहीं कि हिंदू मुस्लिम सिख ईसाई कोई भेदभाव नहीं सब लोग एक हो करके बहुत कई सौ साल पुरानी ये दरगाह हजूर को यहाँ पर दाखिए हुए और हयात में भी थे और लोगों को फैज हयात में भी अब भी लोग फया इनसे फैज पा रहे हैं इनके दर पे आर करके बेरोज़गार को रोज़ी मिल रही बे औलाद को औलाद मिल रही है परेशान हाल हैं अपनी परेशानी आके बाबा के यहाँ कहते हैं उनकी परेशानी दूर होती है क्योंकि ये अल्लाह के वली अल्लाह के करीब होती है 
At its core, the Dargah of Sheikh Muhibullah Shah embodies a powerful message of unity in diversity. It stands as a beacon of hope, showcasing India's diverse communities living together in harmony with shared values of love and respect. Now let's delve into World in Focus, featuring the latest global developments and events shaping our world. Russia's Bolshoi Theatre kicked off its new season in Moscow on September 7 with a ballet performance of Tchaikovsky's Leaping Beauty, marking a return to classic Russian composers. Director Valery Gergiev announced on September 6 that they are preparing for the theatre's 250th anniversary next year, focusing on Russian culture and the works of great Russian artists. He noted that Sleeping Beauty had not been performed at the Bolshoi in years. Gergiev, who was appointed director in late 2023, has been avoided by the West since the Russia-Ukraine conflict began in 2022. India's agriculture sector is emerging as a global leader, driven by technological advancements and innovation. In recent years, there has been significant research in eco-friendly agrochemicals, integration of technology and the formation of international collaborations and partnerships. These developments promise a bright future for India's agriculture sector, enhancing productivity and sustainability on a global scale. India's agriculture sector is a core strength making the country self-sufficient in food security. It supports 18% of the world's population, with just 12% of global land and 4% of water resources. The sector is transforming itself with advancements in technology and innovation, enhancing productivity, and boosting India's role in the global market. A key driver of this growth is the agrochemical industry, which is rapidly innovating with new formulations. India excels in the sector, with exports over 5 billion and imports below 2 billion. Companies like Insecticides India focus on developing environmentally safe agrochemicals, aligning with the global demand for sustainable agriculture. This approach, supported by international collaborations, balances productivity with environmental responsibility, earning positive feedback from farmers. Agrochemical in particular is a champion sector where the import is low and the export is high. Uh, in, from India, we export more than $5 billion worth of agrochemicals and if it, it comes to import, import is less than $2 billion. So that way, India is progressing. The acceptance of the Indian product is very, very high across the world and we in India are making new AIs by ourselves and giving it to the farmer. So you can say that world-class product high quality product, new generation product is going to the farmer at competitive prices. Our priority is to discover new agrochemicals which will have no impact to the environment, which will give the sound protections for crop and at the end we need a happy environment means that will not create any impact to the human bodies after eating those crops. Innovation and technology are key drivers of growth in India's agriculture sector, with a strong focus on post-harvest management. Companies like Sohan Lal Commodity Management are integrating technology through initiatives like AgriReach and AgriSaraksha, which streamline post-harvest storage and security. Technology also plays a crucial role in quality checks, with apps that have transformed crop assessment, reducing the time from days to mere minutes. This advancement enhances scalability and provides farmers with timely, accurate quality evaluations. In real-world scenarios where uh, QC 
uh, of crops take almost two to three days. It just happens in seconds. If not seconds, then in minutes in the location where internet speed is not that much. So just to give you the stat that we, ha we have been able to do the 2,10,000 QCs uh, by start of this uh, August, so which is way, way higher than any uh, lab uh, figure. India's agriculture sector is poised for continued growth and increased global influence as modern agricultural science and technology reach farmers across the country. The integration of innovation, environmentally friendly practices and cutting-edge technology is transforming the sector, creating a compounding effect that promises a bright future for yet another facet of Brand India. Cricket is a beloved sport in India and many other countries worldwide. The cricket bat, particularly made from English willow, has been a key component of the game. However, Kashmir willow bats have recently gained popularity and are now making their mark internationally. Let's explore how the trade of these bats from India's Kashmir Valley is carving out its own identity. Holamala, a village in the Anantanag district of Jammu and Kashmir, is known for its Kashmir willow bats. Several factories here are involved in cricket bat manufacturing, including Great Sports, which recently received approval from the International Cricket Council, the ICC. Now, their bats are being used in international matches. The factory's owner, Fazal Kabir, is committed to establishing Kashmir-made bats on the global stage and supporting the local industry. Since 2020, uh, 2010, we took a pledge to take Kashmir Willow to the international cricket and we started looking for the options, what all we can do in the Kashmir Willow so that it can be developed into the product that can be used by the professional cricketers in the professional cricket game. And after that, we went on for a research for around 11 years with two patents and a couple of innovative patented technologies that uh, we developed in the meantime, that is computer monitored compression, that's AI based, artificial intelligence based, and one more machinery we developed in house only in the R&D. That product that we use in the product in the Kashmir Willow, and in 2021, we were finally able to make a product out of Kashmir Willow, and we launched it in the international cricket. The manufacturing of Kashmir willow bats requires meticulous attention to detail and involves a complex process. It starts with selecting raw materials, followed by preparing the wood, shaping the bat, and finishing it. Each step in the process is crucial. The rich tradition and craftsmanship of Kashmir add a special touch to this work, which serves as a vital source of livelihood for many families in the region. The bat industry in Kashmir has now grown to over 84 million USD, with exports increasing significantly in recent years. The growth of various cricket leagues and teams in India and internationally has greatly boosted the industry. Kashmir Willow was opted by international cricketers. It's growing like anything. If you will see the data, we have been exporting right now from 2021 to the world. Till for 100 years, we could not export a single cricket bat. But from 2021, after we got the international recognition, first year we exported around 35,000 bats. Then we exported around 1,35,000 bats. And this year, after four years, we are, our graph is right now at 6,50,000 bats have been exported from Kashmir for last four years. And not even a single bat was exported for 100 years before that. So yeah, market is growing. Cricket legend Sachin Tendulkar recently visited Anantanag and praised the manufacturers for producing world-class cricket bats. His visit significantly boosted the Kashmir willow bat industry. MJS Sports, a 25-year-old family-run bat manufacturer, has seen a surge in demand for its bats following Sachin's visit. Bat is bat first to all India. तो उसके बाद इस साल से तकरीबन एक दो साल से हमने आउट ऑफ कंट्री भी बेचना शुरू कर दिया जैसे ऑस्ट्रेलिया भी हमने बेच दिया अरब कंट्री में बेच दिया लंदन बेच दिया 
تو اللہ کی فضل سے انشاءاللہ ہر جگہ سے فون آتے ہیں آن لائن کے کہ بیٹ بیچ دو ہم میں بھی انڈیا میں کرکٹ زیادہ فیمس ہو گیا ہے انڈیا میں مطلب سب لڑکی کھیلنے لگی ہے ریسنٹلی انڈیا نے ورلڈ کپ جیتا ہے تب سے لڑکوں میں بڑا کریز آ گیا ہے تو یہاں پہ بھی کشمیر میں بھی بہت مطلب لیگ چل رہی ہے اب گورنمنٹ نے ڈیسیجن لے لی کہ جو لیجنڈ لیگس ہیں وہ فورٹی اور اس کے بعد سری نگر میں کھیلا جائے گا تو اس سے ہمارے مارکیٹ اور بھی بوس ہو جائے گا اور بہت فائدہ آ جائے گا اور ہمارا فیوچر اچھا ہی رہے گا آگے سے Today, the Kashmiri willow bat industry is gaining international recognition and contributing to the Make in India and the Atmanir Bar Bharat or Self-Reliant India initiatives. The Kashmir Valley's willow bats are earning global acclaim for their impressive quality and durability. And with that, we wrap up today's episode of My India, but we will see you next week at the same time. Till then, goodbye and take care.